no i am not ashamed that my mom was a sex worker because i know whatever she did she did for my family whatever struggle i have faced in my life those things made me more stronger and i know making my future is in my hands right now My name is Dory Simon, and I came to Mumbai to spend a day with Rani, the 17-year-old daughter of a sex worker. In Her Shoes is a series that explores women's empowerment efforts around the world because traveling has taught me that all women can relate. Our human history is a story of gender inequality and power imbalance. Women's issues manifest differently across cultures, but we can build bridges by finding the everyday similarities and exploring our collective resilience to rise above and challenge society's expectations. This is a day in the life of Ronnie, a revolutionary. We are in the second largest red light area in Asia. This is Kamathipura, Mumbai, and it's home to thousands of sex workers and their children. The streets here are crowded at all hours. Women stand outside of their brothels looking for work, men peruse, and children play in the streets. For the girls born into these brothels, the expectation for their future is pretty set in stone. Less than 10 miles away, an organization called Kranti, the Hindi word for revolution, provides a live-in shelter home and resources for young women from Kamathipura and teaches them how to be agents of social change. They call themselves revolutionaries. Why don't we just start? Okay, so my name is Rani and I'm 17 years old. My dad used to call me Rani. Rani means queen in English. When I wake up in the morning, I always hug the person who is beside me because I feel like hugging a person in the morning, it will make my further day amazing. Sun is looking so beautiful. Kranti is an NGO that empowers girls from Mumbai's red light areas to become agents of social change. We currently work with about 20 girls who are ages 13 to 23, and you know, all of them are either survivors of trafficking, daughters of sex workers, or girls who are born and raised in Mumbai's red light areas. Pinky, what are you doing? I'm making tea. <laughs> <laughs> So what are some of your favorite things? Okay, so my favorite things are eating food. And second, writing journal, because whenever I write journal, I feel like I'm with myself. And third, using phone, because I post on Instagram, and every five minutes I just check how many people liked on my photo. Usually my pictures get like 73, but nowadays the latest picture I got 95. Whoa! Yay! That is very specific. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready? Start. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Being told your entire 15 years of your life, don't talk about where you're from, don't tell people what your mom does. One of the things that they've heard, not just at school, but from people all over, is Randi ki beti Randi banegi, which basically means a whore's daughter can only be a whore. Well, what are your goals? What, what do you want to make of your life? Yes, being a leader is my life's goal. Like, I want to help whatever my life goal is, that is the biggest first rule that it should be help someone from my work, so, yes. All of the girls are working on their personal struggles to gain the skills to help themselves, their community, and anyone on the fringe of society. But a typical day in Mumbai starts with their morning routine, and then, school. Traditional school wasn't a good fit for everyone, so Kranti designed their own curriculum. Kranti School replaced regular schooling with a unique approach that provides alternative ways to engage the girls and prepares them for the real world. We're going to scream and yell and blah, 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 as much as we can so that we can get it all out. 
Ready? Basically, the really important part of me for Kanti School is for kids who have been told their whole lives that they're really bad students, realizing that they love learning. Yes. yes. So we have Music Mondays, TED Talk Tuesdays, Worldly Wednesdays, Thinking Thursdays, and Field Trip Fridays. My favorite day of Kanti School is Monday because it's a Music Monday. Just as a warning, don't ever learn your English from Tupac. Never. Ever. Okay? You ain't nothing. Ki tum kuch bhi nahi ho? Don't, don't believe him. him. And if he can't learn to love you, you should leave him. Right? You got to keep your head up. Excellent. Yeah, I think it's really crazy that this singer lived so long ago, but the music is so, 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 so relevant um, today, but also just to their lives. Yeah. All right, everyone, go eat. Even halfway through the day with Rani, I could see her similarities to other women her age. She likes Instagram, boys, music, yoga, journaling, sleeping in and good food. She seems to appreciate the little things in life, but Ronnie's life hasn't been easy, and it's been difficult for her to get to this point. She's still working hard to accept her past. In fact, the only requirement to live at Kranti is to attend therapy. I go to therapy once in a week. So many situations which is going right now, it is somewhere connected with my past. We've really seen that emotional and mental well-being are probably the most important thing that the girls need in life. And we've really also come to realize that some of the happiest women I've met in my life are illiterate sex workers, and some of the most miserable people I've met in my life are the most educated and highly paid corporate employees of Mumbai. So really pushing the kids to realize that if you're okay internally, everything will work out externally. But if you're not okay internally, the whole world is a mess externally, no matter how much you earn and how much, how, how much education you have. This is my first Indian train ride. So we're taking a train to Rani's therapy. Uh, and a couple of her friends are also getting therapy today. Why is everyone on the train a woman? Like we're taking the train in the afternoon. Yeah, ladies. Oh, it's a ladies. Yeah. Oh, so we don't get bothered by the men. So, of course, all of the girls in Kranthi have faced some type of sexual abuse, violence, um, rape, whatever it may be, and that's something that, of course, no matter what, is traumatic. My mom and dad fell in love, and my dad said we can live as a family, so my mom just quit sex work, and then my father was fruit seller, so he used to earn pretty good money. After that, sometime, my dad got sick, and there was no one to uh, go to work and earn money, so we were suffering from the financial condition. Then my mom again decided to do sex work. My dad died from HIV, then I realized what it feels like when someone is gone from your life forever. He died in the morning and I, mom bought my stepfather at the same evening. He started like beating me and my mom, so that was very abusing. And then after some time when I came to Kranti, there was so much anger inside me for him. Like, how can you do this? And my, because my father never ever touched me. Your dad died of HIV. Do yeah. you know if your mom has HIV? Yeah, she has, but she's not in that level. Have you and your brothers oh, no. been tested? Yeah, we tested, but we don't have HIV. That's good. Yeah. In therapy, there is a physical activity which is basically about making your boundaries. So many girls feel the same that I am the girl, I don't have any choice, I don't... To say no, like if something I don't like, so they will just keep saying like, okay, whatever you are doing is fine, but they will not speak up about that topic. If we are girls, we are also normal human being, and we have all the rights to say no and we can do whatever we want with our life.
After therapy, some time, I realized if that man is beating you and your mom, you can just imagine how many things has gone in his past that he's doing these things with you. And if I'm keeping that anger inside me, I think it's only harming me. He don't even know that I hate him. So I just decided to forgive him and whenever I talk about him now I don't feel any anger or upset. I just feel bad for him that he don't have therapy. So we just came to the beach after getting the beautiful opportunity to sit in on Ronnie's therapy. It was so insightful. Her therapist really clarified how absolutely essential mental health rehabilitation is for the girls in Kranti and what an you know, important aspect of Ronnie's life, her therapy has been. I would have to say Ronnie's one of the girls that I've seen the most gigantic transformation in. Just somebody who was really closed and protective of herself. But with the red therapy, like, she's just, like, blossomed into something so far away from that that you would never even imagine that this is, you know, where she came from. So sharing my story is important to me because there is so much learning from my story. I feel like my struggles and my learning, there are so much things which others can get confident. Of course, like Kranti gave me so many things, so I have to give back. So Kranti means revolution and we call the girls Krantikaris or revolutionaries. And revolution is not just for like, you know, this massive, it's not like we're gonna wake up one day and there's gender equality, right? Um, it's a very slow process, and um, but part of it is not just a societal revolution about connected to women's rights and to girls and to, you know, sex workers and their communities and stuff. It's also an internal revolution. The internal one is the real revolution. So being an agent of social change sometimes means leading a protest and organizing it, and sometimes it means sitting and being a really good listener for that one person in your house who's crying. What do you have to do? My chores. How do you feel about that? Lazy. <laughs> but I have to. What happens if you don't do your chores? I'll not get my phone. You won't get your what? Phone. Uh-oh. Do I look like a pro? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Ronnie grew up in a disadvantaged situation, but at 17, this dark-skinned daughter of a sex worker, whose society casts her near the bottom, is already a leader. All the young women at Kranti do local and international community outreach through workshops and performances that aim to change the stigma that comes with being from the red light area or any marginalized society. Aww, we miss you guys. Their everyday is relatable. Their lives are inspiring stories of resilience. And their leadership is central to building acceptance, breaking down stigma, and initiating the change that is so needed for women in the world.